Hey everyone, it's Michael from Bullion Now and LC a little coin shop. I can't say LCS here, can I? Because it means other things. Little coin shop to bring you May's Perth Mint releases. So um, I actually don't know what's in here. So this is going to be kind of exciting. Um, they've been doing some really good ones lately. And Connor's in the background and I'm hoping he's going to pipe up as well. I, I will do my best. Because <laughs> otherwise it gets boring. I don't have Sam here. I think I think you're bullying yourself a little bit. Uh, it's not it's not as boring. You might get sick of your own voice, but no one else does. Uh, there was lots lots of fan mail for Sam last week. Yeah, with the, yeah. With the unboxing we had. Oh, well, these are cool. A very popular draw card, that young oh, fan. Alrighty, so oh man, they keep making these titles longer and longer and longer. So what we have here is the Perth Mint Australian Wedgetail Eagle Enhanced Reverse. High, uh, proof high relief pied foot. Uh, you lost you lost me at advanced <laughs> reverse. What so does that mean? Enhanced means they've increased the detail, as you'll see in a moment. Um, hang on, let me work through them one at a time. So the reverse proof is where they a normal proof has. Uh, <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> so a normal proof has a background as mirrored and the product as frosted so a reverse proof they do it the other way around so they've frosted the background and they've given you the um the mirror finish on the on the eagle itself in this case um, so high relief means that they've drawn the detail of the picture out of the um out of the coin itself and you can actually see again on these coins we've talked about a little bit lately where they concave the face of the coin so they can bring the depth of the strike out so you get more um, more uh, perception of three-dimensional with the uh, with the the image itself, which have uh, popped out, um, and then yeah, then pied foot. So pied foot means it's, it's nice and chunky. It's very <laughs> striking when you do see that that um, that depth in the coin when you see it in person. Mm, uh, absolutely. Hopefully, we get to show it off in the B-roll there. But um, yeah, when you do see it in person, it is just a different kind of kind of alluring. Yeah, so. it is. So, an absolutely beautiful coin, very limited from memory. We're limited to about, yeah, 2,000, which, as I keep banging on about, most of those will actually end up going overseas. So, the Wedgetail Eagle is a popular series designed by John McCanty, who used to be, until retirement, um, the, the chief coin design engineer out of um, the US Mint. So, big cult following of his stuff. So, it's really cool that he designs these every year for the Perth Mint. On the other side of the coin, we have Her Majesty looking as wonderful as ever. And again, we've got that concave finish, so we're able to draw the um, draw the effigy out of the coin, giving it that three-dimensional look. And again, they've reversed it on that, so it's um, a mirrored image for the for the effigy, and then the uh, matte finish for the um, oh, sorry, the frosted finish, not the matte finish, the frosted finish for the uh, for the surround. And so it looks really, really good. I'd assume these would um, these would be quite excellent as display pieces. Oh, absolutely! And it, because it's the two ounce with the concave, it it's big enough that you actually get the imp you, you can see the detail in it. It, it overemphasizes the detail, so it's really good. And it does come in. I've got to say, Perth Mint does better than any other Australian mint um, with their packaging. The design of the packaging, particularly, uh, it's been a topic of conversation around the uh, around the shop for the last quite a while about um, <clears throat> the uh, other mints and how they've changed their packaging and how it's not as good as it used to be. Um, and the Perth Mint have um, done a wonderful job with theirs and keep doing a great job with theirs. So they will be available at littlecoinshop.com.au. What's else? next? What have we got in there? What else? Well, ooh. <laughs> I got a touch on this one. We'll come back to this in a second. Don't panic. So this was the two ounce one. Ooh. This one is the enhanced reverse proof. I oh, know this is the platinum. I thought they were going to go through the whole lot for a, a five ounce, but it's not. So we're talking five ounces of platinum there. No, this right? one is actually a one ounce. Okay. I, uh, you got me excited for a second. No, I, I made an assumption rather than actually reading the detail. Always detrimental. Um, do we often get numismatics in platinum? 
No, but we are starting to get it more because the technology is there for a start um, and the production uh, technique has been improved to a point where it can actually be produced. Just going back to, we haven't got to the coin yet, going back to the packaging that Perth Mint does, you know, like the, the, the cardboard shipper or the outside box is like the design on it is fantastic and they do a great job with it. But it's once you start getting inside, you get these, like this one, okay, it's, it's absolutely a more expensive coin than what I was just showing you with the with the um, the two ounce pied foot, but it comes in this cloth bag. And then inside the cloth bag is this wooden finished box. That's beautiful. Um, and they just, they just make it look great with the gold trim on it and all that sort of stuff. It, it just looks first class. And the vibrant color of that wood is just is spot on. Yeah. And then you get the little protective pouch on the outside, the foam on the inside. It just looks, <laughs> they do a great job. <laughs> and then we've got the platinum um, enhanced reverse proof. So in the one ounce. So beautiful looking coin and obviously in platinum. So everyone that's watching this will probably know how much of a fan I am of platinum. Now I'm seeing some comments around around the shop and around the uh, the, the, the YouTube comments, but um, some people are thinking that platinum is going to be uh, making a bit more of a name for itself this year. What are your thoughts on that? I, I'm a big, you, you gotta be really careful when you're watching this, okay? Because I am a platinum fan. I think it's got legs, I think it's a good investment, but that's, that's a personal opinion. I'm not going to try and wrap this up in a hurry and, and make a mess of it. So I'll put that to the side. Um, I think platinum's a good overall investment. This is not investment advice. This is just some turkey on the internet rabbiting on. And that's how you have to take it. And you've got to also remember that I come with a very biased opinion. I sell the stuff. So be very careful of that. Having said all of that, um, if you go through the history of platinum, how it used to be on a one-to-one uh, -one basis price-wise with gold, although you'd actually say it was slightly more expensive, so it was on a about a 0.94 to one um, with gold. Traditionally, if you look at the um, at the ratios on it, um, when we had the uh, the troubles with platinum six seven years ago, with what was termed Dieselgate and all the things surrounding that, it wasn't just Dieselgate, but that was certainly part of it. Um, you know, it, it drove the price down, I would argue, artificially through an oversupply situation. The oversupply has gone now. Platinum is being used far more for the new technologies that are coming down the pike. The demand is massively increasing. And unlike silver, where when you mine for gold, you find silver. When you mine for copper, you find silver. Silver is almost a byproduct of mining operations. Platinum is a bit different. It's harder to find. It's harder to mine. You have to target it. Um, it's certainly harder to refine and work with. So the premiums as people, as companies, as new technologies are, are needing more and more platinum in the system. They are dragging that excess demand out. That's all gone. And we're starting to see the price starting to move up. So I think that will play out over a few years though. I don't think it's gonna be an instantaneous thing. Now, we're looking at this kookaburra. Give us a quick look at the outer packaging first. Yeah, again, they do a great job with the outer packaging, don't they? And I love the, the, the sort of matte. What is that? Is that this, like the color of the, the background there is, is not yes. quite black, but it's just... No, it's, a, it, it, it's almost a shiny matte finish, which yeah. is like a positive, uh, like a, what's the word, you know, opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't tend to have shiny matte, but that's how they come up. The only problem... Um, the only problem with it is it can show marks easily, so just be careful when handling it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it, it has a beautiful effect and it really brings out the, the shine of the kookaburra and the colouring in it um, and, the, and the lettering. I, it's, I, can't, like, I know we look at metals and I know we're looking at coins, but I can't overemphasise how good the Perth Mint packaging has become over time. Presentation um, of these precious metals is, is an art in itself. Particularly in a collector's item. Um, it's not, and this is the constant argument between the stackers and the collectors, um, it's not just about the metal content. It is now, it's, it's entering in the, into the realm of art. So it's its presentation, the design, everything about it. So just be aware of that when you're handling them. So it comes with its um, certificate of authenticity, obviously. Little pouch, and I love these ones. So it, it comes in, this is the quarter ounce um, kookaburra. So I'll pull it out. 
Um, so we'll get some B-roll of it, so don't strain your eyes on that. Connor will slide, um, slide it in there somewhere. But it's more just to give you a perspective of size. size. So look at my fingers um, compared to the coin, because quite often when you're looking at things on, on YouTube, you go, wow, you know, look at it, it's this big, it's huge. And when you get it, you go, oh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> so trying, I was trying to give you some perspective by having it in my hand. So, But yeah, beautiful coin. This year's design I know has been... I have made a little controversial because <laughs> uh, I didn't like the bird bath uh, image, but I've got to say in the gold, it actually looks better in the gold than it does in the silver. I'm really not a fan of it in the silver, but it's a great looking coin anyway. And that is the end of the unboxing for Little Coin Shop. So this is May's release from the Perth Mint. Anything else you want to add to that, Colin? No, beautiful, beautiful coins. Um, we're really looking forward to um, getting these through and, yeah, loving the presentation on a lot of these. Perth Mint does it right in that regard. So, here we go. The perennial question that I ask. Uh-huh. Which one for fun? Which one for investment? Oh, well, for me, obviously, fun, I think, 100% will be that beautiful, beautiful timber uh, casing. Yep. Gorgeous. I'll, that that'd be the fun one. I, you know, I don't think I'd uh, I'd invest in something like that. But if I if I had the opportunity, that would be the one that I would get, and I'd love to show off to everyone yep. um, that that came through my place. But then um, I, I would assume for the investment, I think I'm I think I'm going to go with um, with this one on the far right here. I think, uh, but I'm not sure if that's correct. I think when it comes to investment, I I've got a lot to learn. <laughs> so. <laughs> What about yourself? Um, what about yourself? I, I don't think I don't think you're wrong. I just don't think I would choose the same. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm not a huge fan of the quarter ounce size. I, I actually love the design on this one, and I think the. Sorry, let me backtrack that slightly. I love the design in gold. Don't like it in silver, as I've made very clear over time. Um, so I kind of, I, I like this one. I think for fun. The problem I've got is investment on this one. I, I love the, the platinum. I love the presentation. I think it's great. I, I think in limited numbers um, because it's, it is very limited. Um, yeah, there's only 200 of them made. Um, so I love the wedge tail eagle. But more and more, um, the other sizes of the silver um, proofs are becoming more and more popular. And we're starting to see the growth in their value um, fairly quickly, actually. I've been quite surprised how positively the market has accepted all these. We make a joke of how long the names are getting, but how quickly the market's accepted them and, and really started driving the, starting to drive the prices up. I'm a little torn. <laughs> it's not an easy choice, is it? No. Especially um, when we put platinum in front of you. Yeah, oh, that's, that is the problem. If this wasn't platinum, if it was gold or... Um, something along those sort of lines, I'd probably go the cheaper um, silver as an investment. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say both. I tell everyone else off for that. Um, I'd probably go for the platinum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to go for the two ounce. I'm going to go for the silver. Yeah, I think that's the better investment. And as soon as we stop filming, you'll yeah, turn the again. Yeah, I will. I'll be going, ah, I reckon it's the other way around. Um, no, I, I, look, I'd take both for investment purposes, um, but I think, I'd, I think I prefer the silver only in that I think it's more at the start of the investor, collector um, acceptance and interest. So I think... I think we're at the start of, again, this is not financial advice. I think we're at the start of probably an uptick in um, a recognition of premium and an increase in premiums. And that's probably why I'm favoring that slightly over the platinum, although it is platinum and I really like the platinum. So well, it's a close run call. Thank you very much for showing us all those there, Michael. No worries. And we will see you in the next one. Sounds good. See ya.